Just soldier Ram Narain of Line Path Secondary came 10th overall in the country, but topped Region 6 with 16 grade 1s and 1 grade 2. I have a sister that she wrote 16 subjects and she achieves 50 ones and 1 grade 2. So I always wanted to you know beat her in her exams. So that's what I did. That's why I went and wrote 17 and she wrote 16. It was in 2016 that her sister, Vanessa, achieved that feat and was 13th in the country and 2nd in the region. God is number one. My mm -hmm. parents, my teachers, my friends, my sister, they all contributed there. In what were your friends? They used to like support me, work the motivation, you know. What about your sister? Who you were trying to beat? Well. She's not here, she's in Canada, college, so I usually like when I don't really get the point, I usually call her, she'll explain off the phone, like, you know, she used to be like my tutor. Ramnarayan says her favorite subject was chemistry, but now she wants to become a lawyer. Because the things in that area interest me, I have interest there. The news of topping the region was shocking to her, but she was overjoyed. Right now, the 17-year-old is already thinking of her A-levels. I'm going to do a law course at Cape, so like economics and English, stuff like that, you use in Caribbean history. The region's second place student is Yogeshwar Balram of JC Secondary with 14 grade 1s and 3 grade 2s. She has not picked a career as yet, but has an interest in physics. Her favorite subject is, however, mathematics. According to the 16-year-old, she was confident that she had passed all of her subjects but had no idea with what her grades. I always used to do my SBAs as soon as I got them from like Form 1. And uh, before end of term test, I'd start like a week or two before. And preparing for a CSEC, I started a couple months before and I wished I had started earlier, but I did not complete my SBS as early as I would have wished for. Balram says she had to give up some of her television series in order to make time for studying. But I kept my work too. And yes, I did have to stay up late in the night to study. I will say that you need to study hard. Your exams are your priority. Don't let any distractions get to you. And don't make whatever people say about you make you want to back out of your exams. Remember, you have God, you trust in God, and it will come true. For the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.